Hey YouTube, Adopted Mike here, and this video is going to be about the ASRock Z77 Pro 4 motherboard. Take a look here at the front of the box. Crossfire ready. This is an Intel Z77 chipset. Take a look at the bottom here. 1155. There's one PCI Express 3.0 by 16 there. I'll take a look at the side. There's the same specifications. And then yet again. And then some more specifications there. Interestingly enough, it doesn't appear that it supports SLI. We'll have to confirm that as we get inside. Okay, first of all. We have a software setup guide, then we have the installation manual, and there feels like, yes there is, a driver disc inside with a case badge powered by ASRock, but also just double check online to make sure we got the newest drivers here. Z77 is not the newest chipset anymore, and depending on when this board was manufactured, there could be some pretty good driver updates available. Then we have a multilingual uh, manual, a standard rear I.O. shield. We have some SATA 3 6 gigabit a second um, connectors. One's a right angle, the other one is a straight end. Now, we will get the board out of the bag. and we'll take a look at it. So here's the motherboard out of the bag. We'll start off at the bottom here. We've got, uh, and I guess you can see it comes in this nice foam padding. But anyway, start off at the bottom. We have an HD audio, and we've got the SPDIF there, COM port, clear CMOS, the IR connector, USB 2.0. There's two headers for four ports. We've got a three pin fan header there for chassis. And we have our front panel connectors and speaker there. And we spin around on the Z77 chipset. We've got two SATA 6 gigabit a second and four SATA 3 gigabit a second ports. We'll move over there, we got uh, what looks to be the BIOS there. Okay. And coming right along, we've got our chipset heatsink, got a USB 3.0 fan header, and we have two more of the US, not USB, excuse me, SATA 6 gigabit a second connectors there and uh, I believe that's an AS Media controller. Then we've got a 24 pin power connector. We'll zoom along here, we've got an 8 pin power connector for the CPU. We have a CPU fan header uh, number 2 it says, so that is a 3 pin. So I'm going to assume we're going to see a number 1 somewhere. We've got a nice heat sink on the power delivery for the CPU. Kind of zip along there, there we go, there's our, well there's a chassis fan and a power fan, a 4 pin chassis and a 3 pin power fan. Interestingly enough, oh there it is right there. Okay, there's our CPU fan 1 right there, that's the 4 pin. So we have two CPU fans, a 4 and a 3 pin. Now we move along there, we've got our uh, dim slots. Each slot here will support 8 gigs of uh, DDR3 memory, so you can have 32 total. There's our socket 1155. And we'll kind of move along here, we'll go through the expansion slots. Starting off at the top, we have a PCI Express by 1. Then we have a by 16, and this is a 3.0 if you have an Ivy Bridge processor, if, uh, if you have a Sandy Bridge processor, then this is a by 16 2.0. Then we have a legacy PCI. Then we have another by 16. This would just be a 2.0, but it's only wired to be a by 4. So you have to take that in mind. It will hold a 16, but the only by 4 you can see. I don't know if you can see or not, but it's only uh, it's only actually wired to be a by 4. Then you have 
two more legacy PCI slots. So this board does support uh, Crossfire X and Quad Crossfire X, not SLI, but really, I mean, it's not an ideal uh, situation here for SLI or even the fact that it supports Crossfire X being that this is a by four slot. If you were going to run Crossfire X or Quad Crossfire X, then I would definitely look to see if you could at least get a by eight slot here. This would be great for a single graphics card though, right here, because you've got all the bandwidth there. But yeah, the by four, I don't necessarily recommend using this in a, a dual graphics card setup. So definitely I would just stay with one NVIDIA or one um, AMD or ATI video card. So let's get over to the rear I.O. of the board and there we are. So we start off we have a keyboard PS2 port. We've got two USB 2.0 then for the, if you're using onboard graphics you have a VGA, DVI and HDMI. We've got two more USB 2.0s, two more again so that's six USB 2.0s and two USB 3.0 We've got a Realtek Gigabit Ethernet there, and then our audio out, the HD audio out, with one optical port there. Okay, so that wraps up my unboxing of the ASRock Z77 Pro 4 motherboard. Again, it's the Z77 chipset, Intel Socket 1155. And as always, thank you for watching.